What is going on, everybody? Thank you very much for joining me, Kenny, over at the Customizer Depot Studios for a side quest. And this side quest, I believe, is uh, experimenting with Kenny. And today, I have a clock, and I'm taking it apart. And basically, what I'm going to do to it is I have uh, some Angela's paints. These are Angela's pearlescent paints. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating like a marble effect clock and showing you guys how I did it. Now, the point of this video is for me to, you know, like continue my marbleizing craft. I'm just sitting here having as much fun as I possibly can. So if this is something that interests you and this is something that you want to do, by all means, step one, have fun. Step two, get the materials necessary to do whatever project you're going to do. Step three, keep watching this video if you wanted to do something exactly like what I did. It's very simple. It's nothing crazy. These are just Angela's Pro Lesson Paints. If you're looking for Angela's, the, uh, their link is in the description box below. Definitely go check out Angelus. We love using Angelus paints for a lot and or most of our projects, to say the least. When it comes to shoes, when it comes to like these clocks, the phone cases that we do, everything, everything that I like to experiment, I experiment with Angelus paint. So definitely go check them out, guys. Uh, listen, I'm going to leave you guys with the music. I'm going to come back in a little bit. Uh, just so that way I can explain to you a little bit more about the resin when it comes up. So I will see you guys then. Oh, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, as well as hit the notification bell to stay notified of any cool new videos like this coming up. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, thank you uh, for, again, coming and hanging out. Right now, what I have is uh, this resin from Art Resin. And what you want to do is you want to create a mixture that is one-to-one, -one, a one-to-one -one ratio. You want to mix them for two minutes once you mix them together, right? This is going to be one of the hardest things you'll ever be doing for these particular projects because, oh, my God, rocking that thing for two minutes is super painful on your forearms. And I don't care what you tell me, no matter who it is. What's going to happen when you start mixing this is that you're going to get all these air bubbles inside of your mixture. I, I try to mix it as best as possible. So I'm always trying to bring the bottom, the bottom liquids to the top. So I'm always basically just like grinding it through. So as you can see, you'll see all of those bubbles. Now my job is to pour it all over this on an even surface. Right here, I, I put the clock under three um, under three different cups, like those little mini Dixie cups that I have, and I'm separating all of the resin so that way it can get to everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> now, since this has holes in the clock, this is going to be like kind of a difficult project to get it everywhere because what's happening is that that's creating like a, a well effect. So that liquid, that resin, is going to seep through those those empty holes that aren't connecting like the uh, the pieces of wood together so again like i said that that liquid is just gonna fly through and it's not gonna hit every single area so you just have to make sure keep an eye out on the entire clock and if you miss a couple of spots just keep going at it again and now what i have here is i have a blowtorch and that's the best thing that we can use 
to pop those bubbles. You can use a heat gun, it's gonna take a while, but you're also going to move the resin in particular ways that you don't really wanna move it because it's already on to, uh, to the surface area that we're working on and that we wanna have the resin. So now you also have to keep in mind that this has edges everywhere, especially on the inside of the numbers. So you want to wipe off the excess resin that's coming from the under, from underneath. Like as you can see right there, that's you want to keep all of these things in mind. I've done this a couple of times. Remember, this is experimenting with Kenny, and I've messed a couple of these clocks up because I learned something new every time I do it. So the first time I didn't put, I didn't use a blowtorch on it. I had problems, and it looked. The, the, the resin looked really bad. I had problems with the paint, so I did it like I figured out a new problem, to, like a new way to figure out how to do the paint. Then I, I left I left it to dry. Once I popped the bubbles with the with the blowtorch, I left all the resin on the opposite side. So then I had to do three times the amount of work to try to take that off with this with sandpaper, cutting it off and things like that. And this is resin, and it's hard. It's hard to use. So now you give this about 12 hours to dry, 12 to 24 hours to dry in a, on a level surface. As you, you saw, I did the three cups right there. That's what you, that's how you want to work that. Now it's all about once you, once you take everything apart, you got to put everything back together again. So it's simple, you know, it's like a puzzle and there you go. You just put the, put the key, the clock on top and you're set. Now let's, uh, Let's get into everything else. Guys, I wanted to thank you again for coming and hanging out with us. Totally appreciate it. If you guys have any questions on these clocks, if you wanted to have us make a personal clock for you with uh, specific colors, please hit us up in on our website. We have them up for sale already on our website. I just want to show you that the actual mechanism works uh, so that you can see in like a, like a really quick time lapse. Uh, that way you can you can see that a timepiece actually does work it's not loud at all it's actually almost virtually silent you can hear the clicks if you're literally putting your ear to it so it's not like it's going to be like one of those annoying clocks that um that you that you purchase and then it, you hear the it, it's not like one of those so that's always a plus so again uh if you found this video at all informative please like this video if you did if you uh want to share it to other like-minded individuals please do so uh we would totally appreciate it again if you have any questions at customizer depot on social media instagram facebook twitter twitch and uh, uh, and TikTok. so yeah definitely go there let us know if you have any any questions or if you want to get something and uh guys keep crafting enjoy the rest of the video only a little bit left i'm just showing you the little shots that i took of it all right thanks a lot have a great day